Today we're building a Voscoin duo, which is like a trio. A direct injecto trio. But one less card. Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Boss Coin YouTube channel. I'm Boss, this is Tails, and you know she never fails. I'm bringing her into the video clip just like the old days. And uh, today we're gonna be showing you how to build a GPU mining rig, right? For under a thousand dollars. And yes, it's gonna be for not only Nvidia, but also AMD cards. And yes, I know. I need a haircut bad. I'm gonna go get a haircut after this video, all right? You guys don't have to rip on me in the comments. Building a GPU mining rig is super simple, especially if you're only gonna start with a couple cards first. I'm gonna show you how to do that exactly in today's video. Also, thanks to an awesome furry donor out there, there is a little Ethereum giveaway. All you have to do is drop your Ethereum address below in the comments, as well as comment your favorite graphics card or just a graphics card you're gonna be using to start GPU mining with. It could be in your gaming PC already, it could be a GPU you're gonna buy new or used or whatever. Also, I would like to thank today's video sponsor, Scott Offord, who is a bulk dealer of ASIC miners, application specific integrated circuits. So basically like not a GPU miner. These devices are purpose built mining devices and they mine different coins than GPUs normally mine. And if you wanna learn more about them and either buy or sell in bulk, Scott Offord is your guy. Contact information in the video description below. The goal of today's video is to be fun, quick, not overwhelming with information. So in a very few short, quick steps, I'm gonna show you how to put together a GPU mining rig. And then most importantly, I'm gonna go over some of the top parts you could be using to be building a GPU mining rig for under $1,000 and just how this is accomplished time and time again here at the Voscoin Mining Headquarters. When I say that, I mean just my basement in my house. So I'm looking for the opportunity to build your mining rig. And this isn't like I'm turning into a rig building business, okay? I'm not gonna have a full-fledged site with a bunch of different models or anything like that. But I do wanna do you know, a couple one-off builds here and there, maybe like a build or two a month for subscribers of the Voscoin YouTube channel. If this is interesting to you, please reply in the Google form doc below and just answer the basic questions of what you're looking for, what's your budget, and uh, you know, see if it fits something I'm looking to do here on the channel. Step one is to acquire a motherboard. You wanna have a motherboard that can normally do at least six GPUs on it. Also, if it has a couple full-size PCIe slots, that is really best case scenario, preferably two or three. What this allows you to do is put a couple graphics cards directly onto the motherboard and they will you know, simply function there. And that's how we're gonna build today's rig with only two GPUs, but it's expandable in, uh, to six plus graphics cards, which is really cool. It's always great to have parts that you can build upon later if you want to. One of the coolest things I've seen and done in crypto mining is you take some money, you get a couple parts and you build a little rig from it. And you take the earnings from that rig, you simply reinvest it and buy more parts to add to that mining rig, which would simply be more graphics cards normally. So you take two, three graphics cards and they earn some money through mining cryptocurrency and then you use that to buy more graphics cards and boom, you've got a bigger mining rig that hopefully earns more coin. It's kind of the name of the game, the goal, right? So yeah, back to the point. You get a motherboard that can do six plus GPUs and hopefully has a couple full size PCIe slots on it. And from there, you're gonna need a CPU. There are a couple algorithms out now that are kind of CPU heavy, but for the most part, you can really just get away with a cheap CPU. And that's what I would recommend for your first mining rig normally, if you're looking for a lower cost of entry. For that, we just use things like the G4400, the G3900, 3930, and so forth, those cheap Celeron CPUs. They'll function fine for a mining rig. These only line up one way on your motherboard. You drop them in, you put the little clamp down, and then you drop your cooler on it. If you buy these components used, I would really recommend you get this little Arctic Silver cleaning kit. It's like six bucks or something, and it has a cleaner that you can just use with you know any kind of like paper towel, shop towel, stuff like that is, you know, really honestly, it's gonna be fine for this kind of purpose. Clean that adhesive off, and then you'll take Arctic Silver 5 or whatever other thermal paste you may want to use. And for that, just put a little pea size on there, and then you can push the CPU cooler onto it, and you're pretty much done. If it is a new CPU or it was just never used or the cooler was never used, then it will already have thermal paste on the bottom of it. Make sure to check that. You don't want a thermal paste or thermal paste. That's that's getting a little too pasty, guys. We gotta get some sun, you know what I'm saying? And from there, you're just gonna make sure you plug that CPU fan into the CPU fan port on the motherboard. Next, we're gonna need some RAM. 
simply put it into your RAM slots. This is gonna depend on the motherboard. This is a general guide, so you wanna consult your motherboard to see where the RAM works, but honestly, one stick normally works in most spots. Obviously, you need some graphics cards to mine with. So, for example, today we're using two 1070 Ti's. These are just PNY models. Uh, blowers, which will just have like the one small fan or dual fan cards that have the, the two fans just like this. Well, obviously all function fine here in this kind of small build, especially if you're using two cards, I wouldn't worry about it. Even in three, it really doesn't make too much of a difference. All you have to do is simply slide these into the PCIe slots, which are these slots here on the motherboard and you're done with that part of the install. Believe it or not, you're almost done. All you need is a hard drive, a power source, and a power button. For the hard drive, you're gonna need something that can run mining programs. You can put Windows, but you're probably gonna want an HDD or an SSD, you know, normal computer hard drive for an operating system like that. Or you can take a USB stick like we're using today and put a Linux-based operating system. And I know that may sound scary if you've never heard or done anything with Linux, but it's made super easy and has a graphic user interface, which basically means, again, it's easy to use it's what I recommend it's simple It's normally much easier and in my opinion it's normally more stable for this we're gonna be using simple minor SMOS I have a video guide on how to set this up if you should be interested in doing so basically you download the latest version you flash it onto a USB stick you double click it you put your email in which is the same email you've got to make with an account on their website and then it's that simple you can just take some copy and paste uh, they're called config configuration files um, that I post in all my videos for coins I mine and boom you're off to the races mining again not too bad that'll be like the biggest barrier to entry is just understanding that little basic part so yeah in addition to that you're gonna need a power supply to power all this in my opinion it's always best to start with a power supply that will power your goals so for this rig the goal is to move it up to a 6x 1070 ti rig right so if that's the case a 1200 watt platinum evga power supply will be great for this Basically, when it comes to power supply ratings, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, titanium, when you go up in those tiers, you get better efficiency, which will slightly reduce your electric bill, and it will slightly use less wattage because it is more efficient, which is what is reducing your electric bill, and all of this in turn will produce slightly less heat, and at the end of the day, you get a higher quality component that's better for you, better for your bills, and better for the environment. The drawback is when you go up in those tiers, it's a little bit more expensive. Also, when you go to gold, platinum, and titanium, you just get way better parts. Compare that with a bronze power supply, they're gonna be a world apart in just kind of quality and cable options normally. So yeah, 1200 watts will be plenty to run this rig and six cards when they're tuned effectively. When you look at all the cables, it can be a little bit overwhelming in the beginning, but for this kind of setup, just two GPUs direct injecto into the motherboard, it's gonna be super easy. So we're gonna take a VGA, which is synonymous with PCIe, and we're gonna, we're gonna take two of them actually. And those plug into the graphics cards, sweet, done. Then you need the big giant motherboard cable. It plugs into the motherboard. And then we're gonna need the CPU cable that plugs into the CPU slot on the motherboard. CPU slot is a four plus four, which is you know basically eight pin, which means there's eight slots, and it's right over here on the motherboard. Every motherboard's got you know at least one CPU slot there. And that is it. Yeah, no, seriously, that's it. Four cables, done. Easy peasy. If you have a hard drive that needs power, then you'll need to power that hard drive with something like SATA normally. And those are additional cables that come with every power supply and you can just plug those in if you should choose to go those routes. The really cool thing about a quality power supply is that it's modular and what that means is that these cables can come on and off and you can put them in different spots and you can use basically a couple of different cables there if you should need to do so. That's very beneficial in your wire management because say I'm only using these four cables, I can take everything else off and boom there it is a nice clean effective power supply and finally all we need is a power button where this goes on your motherboard will vary by the model so you need to look it up here is me looking it up because i forgot it goes right here on this msi z270 pro motherboard and just click it and we are off to the races with simple miner i need to plug in ethernet which is a direct internet connection this is better and more stable for mining rigs always recommend it if possible and from there, I can just log into my dashboard and start controlling the rig. For this, I just took the group config file I had from my beam mining video, plugged it in there, and then plugged in some basic overclock settings. And if you want it, just a basic, you know, good overclock setting, honestly, zero, zero, which is plus zero core and plus zero memory, and then limit the power consumption from look up the TDP of the graphics card, which is total power draw. And from there, reduce it by like 20% or more 
For example, on these graphics cards, I'm limiting them to 125 watts and I'm setting that in the overclock settings. I then in turn decided to bump these up to hopefully get a little bit of a better hash rate at really no more of a power draw, which brought me to plus 100 core, plus 500 memory, and again, 125 on the power limit. That may seem super simple or super complicated depending on your experience with rig building, which is why we have a Discord server dedicated to all kinds of mining questions, support, and just help and fun. It's a really great community. It's the biggest mining Discord server with over 6,100 members. Invite link in the video description below. I really invite you to join. We will help you and we will joke and it'll be fun and hopefully one day you'll turn around and you'll help some other people in the server as well. So yeah, building the rig is really just that simple and easy. Honestly, start to finish, and I know I've done this before so it's a little bit different, but it took me like 10-ish minutes or so, which was honest, it was fun. It was like relaxing, just felt like wow, this is what it's like to just build a nice simple rig reminiscent of the Voscoin trio mining rigs that we built so many times here on the channel before if you remember that just uh that saga that piece of the journey those things were so much fun i miss those those awesome fun rigs easy to build and a super fun time in crypto mining now here is one of the most important parts is how do you even do this for under a thousand dollars right well i showed some parts and you get that they're not the most expensive parts and they're last generation's parts, but that doesn't mean that they're bad for mining. Basically, it just comes down to, you know, knowing what you can use. And if you're willing to buy used gear, there's a lot of used hardware out there that can really reduce your cost to get into mining. If you're okay with my, or getting used gear, the problem here is you're not gonna get warranties. You may get some scammers and that stuff just kind of sucks. Before I start going over some of the top used parts, I do want to say I'm going to put a link in the video description below linking directly out to a lot of parts I really like, I highly recommend, and I highly advise you check out and look at the prices they're going for. And today, I've, the links I have will you know bring you to the latest used prices for these guys or new depending on the parts. It's just going to be too much to go over in this video today, but I'm going to highlight as much as I can. There's a lot of sources to buy used mining gear. We even have a buy sell trade in our Discord server of our community members buying and selling their gear. This is a good place to buy and sell gear because there's people, if they've been around for a while, you know, maybe we're a little more familiar with them, it's just less likely that you're gonna get scammed in an environment like that as opposed to something like Reddit or eBay. Not that those are bad places and not that I don't buy things off of there. On the topic of eBay, that's probably gonna be your best friend when you're looking for used mining gear. And basically, to sum it up, like when you're looking for 270 style motherboards, it's kind of the last generation and they're really good for mining and you can use them with an Intel CPUs that are commonly found in miners like the G4400 and the G3900, 3930 that I told you about earlier in the video. Basically, any cheap parts that you can find that are good at all, run it in a rig. Because things like CPUs, unless you're chasing CPU mining, don't normally really matter. As far as graphics cards, it's just really gonna come down to what you're willing to pay. Because use 1070s, 1070 Ti's, and sometimes 1080 Ti's, but they've kind of gone up in price because they're just a really awesome card that has really done well even with the new generation coming out. They go for just great used prices, I mean, as a buyer, it sucks as a seller, on eBay. Like a 1070 Ti was 500 bucks plus all day a year and a half or so ago. Today, 300 bucks. Okay, that's a very big uh, price decrease. And if you pay less for parts, you're that much closer to breaking even on your mining investment, and that means you're that much closer to you know going positive, making money, and this isn't investment advice, I'm just saying obvious facts here, and this is obviously entertainment purposes only. RAM has come down significantly in price over the last year. It's literally half the price or less, which is super cool. I recommend eight gigabytes in mining rigs now. There are some mining algorithms that kind of either need or really prefer eight gigabytes of RAM, but honestly, if you're looking for maximum cheap build, you can normally get by with four gigabytes of RAM in a lot of you know mining options. Power supplies, I'm a huge EVGA fanboy. I think they're the best. I think they're awesome. It's what I would really recommend. A power supply is gonna be one of the more expensive components in your rig build. They're kind of heavy, which makes them kind of expensive to ship. So even when you get them secondhand, people are always trying to charge expensive shipping unless they haven't shipped it before and then they get burned. That's kind of their problem as a seller, not your problem as a buyer though. In addition to all these used parts, there's still a lot of good new parts you can buy as well. For example, 1660 TIs, RTX 2060 Super, 
graphics cards, awesome graphics cards for mining on the cheaper end. Even a 1660, which is gonna be even cheaper than a 1660 Ti and an RTX 2060 Super. Well, these names are getting ridiculous. But yeah, those are gonna be good cards that are new and they're gonna carry a longer warranty. Also, some things to keep in mind when you're buying used parts is to look up the warranties of those companies. Naturally, not to have a shameless plug here, but I did create a video going over the best and worst warranties in mining hardware slash tech gear, which is really just me all the top computer companies. If you want to check that video out, I really recommend it. I think it's a good one. So yeah, guys, at the end of the day, a rig building experience does not have to be stressful. It does not have to be overwhelming. It does not have to be super expensive, and it can actually be pretty cost effective and pretty fun. So I hope this guide is gonna help you guys get there and build a mining rig for under $1,000 because it is absolutely possible. Just gonna take a little bit of work, a little bit of research, but to be honest, I did most of the legwork for you guys already in this video. So if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel, leave a comment below and let me know what you liked or you didn't like. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.